Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is the Russian campaign from Avalon Hill. I think it was from 1977 or 1979. We'll see when we open it. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I got it for a super cheap price from my friend. Uh, the price was so low I couldn't resist. So let's see what's in here. I don't even know if this is punched or unpunched. Looks like it's punched, but that's okay. Uh, what year is this? Let's say anywhere 1977. We'll go through the rule book in a minute. Let's take a look at some of the components. Got five dice. Let's take a look at the counters. Counters are standard uh, half inch uh, counters with military symbols, which is exactly what I'd expect from Aval Avalon Hill. So, looks like I don't know if they're all single sided, at least quite a few are, but let's, let's take a look at the tree here. Yeah, it looks like everything was probably single-sided, though I could be wrong. Alright, here's your setup chart. I like when they do that uh, with games, it makes it a lot easier. Where you just uh, fill out the chart here to make sure you got everything before you start setting up. I always like that. Got a Bulgarian garrison, Warsaw garrison, Northern Finland, that's cool. Alright, and here's your Russian setup chart. Looks good. So looks like you got a unit in northern Finland or something. I haven't played this yet. And what do we have here? A little return card. Yeah, they're no longer in, uh, at least at that location. I think someone bought Avalon Hill. Uh, I don't know if they still use the name or not, but... Alright, well, before we get to the rules, let's look at the map. I always do the rule book first. I figured I'd do something different and do the map first this time. Alright, it's two-piece uh, mounted map. It's one thing I always liked about uh, Avalon uh, Hill Games is uh, they have uh, mounted maps, which is nice. It's like it's got a little C movement table here. And down here you got another one, and here's your combat results table. And what do we have on the side here? Oh, a uh, time record chart. So I guess it's kind of like a turn record track. And here's your replacement tr pool. And a reminder about the paratrooper reserve. Yeah, it looks like about what I'd expect from a 1977 Avalon uh, Hill game so far. Now let's take a look at the rule book. One thing about Avalon Hill games is generally they're pretty easy to get into. What I mean by that is the rule books generally aren't that long and they're not too complex. So usually you can read the rule book and start playing immediately or trying to learn the game. So that's cool. It's not like some war games where it takes two days to read the rule book, another, another day to study and examine it, and then you can start playing. So this is something you can get into right away. Here's your sequence of play. German Axis player rolls the die at the beginning of each turn and refers to the weather chart. Alright, so it's a weather phase. German player moves his, does movement. German player now resolves his battles. And a German player may move again. And then he re resolves his battles again. And then the Russian player repeats all those steps and does them for himself. That's cool. So it's going into movement here. And so stacking army size units can be stacked 2 to a hex. Uh, cores uh, may stack 3 to a hex. And combinations can only stack two. And it's got some more stacking rules here going over zones of control, movement restrictions. It looks like you got rail movement and sea movement. And it's going over headquarters rules and combat rules. All right, here's your battle resolution. Oh, and you got Stuka attacks too. And it's got supply rules. Russian airdrops, partisans, that's cool. Uh, reinforcements and Russian replacements. And it's going over the victory conditions now. Looks like it's got a separate ones for the campaign. And it looks like there's a sudden death victory condition. So for that one, you write down an objective for each year. Uh, so that's a total of four objectives. And at the start of the first clear weather turn of each year, each player reveals his objective for that year. A player wins immediately if at that point he controls both his own objective and his opponent's objective for that year. Interesting victory condition. And so it looks like there's some stuff you can do to alter the play balance here and some optional stuff. Alright, 
now it's going into the scenario. So you got six pages of rules. That doesn't. That that's what I mean about the Avalon uh, Hill games. You can get into them pretty quick. You can read this and start playing it the same day you read the rules. Hmm. Looks like you have. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven scenarios. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna have to try this. Uh, I don't have an excuse. The game's already punched, so I can't say, uh, well, I don't want to uh, punch it uh, for it to lose value or anything. So I'll try this, and whenever I do, I'll let you guys know how it is. Uh, if you haven't heard already, I'm selling used war games on my website. I will put a link to it in the description so you can check it out. I'm adding uh, new games all the time and stuff, so uh, check back there frequently. Thanks for watching, and have a good evening.